Hi, so I'm Sasha Lorenzo. I'm one of the specialist physiotherapists working on the West Hearts respiratory team. My name's Dan, I'm a respiratory nurse specialist uh, working for the cardio respiratory service in the Merton locality. So usually I'm a nurse practitioner at um, Finchley Walk-In Centre. And my team is the, the child weight management team um, of Ealing. started working from home and um, when lockdown was kind of first um, first announced and then actually I was redeployed onto a ward and um, onto the Pembridge ward which was set up um, as a response to Covid. For the past um, about seven, eight weeks now I've been re redeployed to the homeless health team and I'm part of the on-site clinical team at a hotel in Wandsworth. As part of the response to Covid-19 um, I was redeployed to a responsive end-of-life service and the end-of-life service was in anticipation of the increased mortality rates in the community. After the COVID-19 pandemic, pulmonary rehabilitation services were suddenly stopped because we were no longer able to see or allowed to see patients face to face. Um, we are used to going out and visiting a lot of families, um, holding sessions at different venues. Um, quite a large group of families would come down and um, take part in some uh, physical activity um, and some uh, nutrition and uh, it literally it came to a standstill. I think it was just really interesting seeing how all the different teams were pulling together in order to kind of provide the best care and to um, really think about what we could do um, to make a difference even though all around us everything was changing, everything was looking really negative and it's actually a really nice um, opportunity to see kind of how we can make things happen when we all pull together. It has been challenging because um, something like this has never been done before. We've never very quickly um, taken rough sleepers off the streets and house them in hotels under such circumstances but um, mm. everyone has really pulled together. It, it was hard. Um, I, I think as nurses we're conditioned to um, think that we can make people better and that's not always the case. Um, I'm working in palliative and end-of-life care um, that was quite hard-hitting. Um, it proved challenging emotionally um, and there were good days, there were also some bad days and some tears. But all of my experiences proved invaluable and I think that they've made me a better clinician. There were a lot of challenges um, for us to overcome, but I think the strength lies in um, us being able to try and turn all of the negatives into a positive in the way that we work. We had to develop a um, online virtual um, uh, Alfie program. Staff had an amazing open mindset to be able to embrace new ideas. I had to learn quite quickly about the specific needs of the rough sleeping population. Um, I hadn't worked in homeless health before coming here. And it was really nice as well working with members of different teams who I never would normally work with, so members of the urgent care teams, nurses from all over the trust. strong and stay together. This is the only way we can go forwards. 
we're very fortunate that I work in a fantastic team and a fantastic CBU where we can have a laugh and we can send those jokey text messages and um, have those sort of pastoral supportive chats which really make a difference. Our team has done an amazing job at developing the programme. We've uh, got loads of families coming on. It's been going on for, we've been running the programme for, uh, yeah, successfully for a good few months now. And uh, it's been good fun. It's, we've had some, some great results, uh, some good feedback from families and children. It's tough. It needs to be recognised that these are difficult times and that change is difficult. But with the right things in place that we've discussed already, with the right people and the right team and the right attitudes, that great things can be achieved. I think the crazier it gets here, because we do have some crazy busy days, um, the more we laugh. Um, we just try and keep um, keep things light in between. Despite being a very strange and sometimes quite unsettling um, time, it actually was quite an uplifting experience seeing how, um, how well we could all work together.